Talking about your forecast, once again, we're dealing with the dangerous heat. That's right, already it's warming up out there. We're seeing those temperatures climb. However, we have some good news about where the temperatures are headed today. A Elena, dress. have we ever been excited about 108 ever in our lives? No. I was gonna <laughs> say, we're, we're, we're joking here, but we also need to stress that like when we're talking about a, a, a day where the temperature is gonna be like what, five, de five, six degrees cooler than where we were yesterday, this is still potentially deadly heat. I know. It is. It's wild. It is. That's I, that's why we're trying to find ways to laugh through it is it's kind of unbelievable. We haven't had a heat wave like this. In living memory, there was a heat wave similar to this for Bakersfield back in 1905. At least we have air conditioners this time, right? But I wanted to talk quickly about our fire danger because it's not just the heat. It's the very dry air, the dry fuels. We had that breeze for the last couple of days that thankfully has died down here on the valley floor. Maddie was mentioning that there was a healthy breeze coming through Hatchby yesterday. That's because that high pressure is moving off to the east a little bit. Hence that slight dip in temperatures. Some westerly ocean air is coming on shore. But even though the winds have died down, we still have a moderate elevated fire danger. So it's not one of those where you're like, oh, well, there's no strong winds, so it's fine. No, this is still, were there to be a spark, we would see it spread quickly. We just don't have very fast winds fanning the flames. So be very fire aware today. The big fire that we're tracking among the many in the state that are very important to fire follow. For us in Kern County, it's the lake fire burning in the Los Padres National Forest. Look at how the day goes on, how much more of that smoke continues filling into Kern County. You saw it at sunset last night. That's what's making for the sunrise colors this morning. It's that smoke coming in from our southwest. So the air quality today, unhealthy for sensitive groups at 129 on the index. It's not just smoke that we're breathing in, but a lot of smog as well. And as the high pressure is moving off to the east, yes, there is a slight westerly flow bringing temperature down a few degrees, but it's not cool and it just pushes more smoke in. So there's not really any relief out of this when typically we would say an onshore flow is a great thing. It takes you down to 110 in Fresno. Incredible to be saying that. 118 in Phoenix, to, er, in Vegas today, 117 in Phoenix. Here in Kern County, I think Bakersfield's getting to about 108, but 110 for some valley cities like Arvin is expected today. And then this high pressure moves out, so tomorrow's about the same. But then watch how it starts sleeking back in for the end of the week. That's going to take those temperatures right back up. So we get heat like this, right? But it's usually just a day or two for the whole summer. To be climbing up to these incredible temperatures and then just staying there, that's what is so remarkable about this heat wave. 108 today, 108 tomorrow. I think Bakersfield gets to 112 on Thursday, looking to pass the old record of 111 set just a couple years ago. But these old records for the end of the week should stand from the early 1900s. And then a slight cooling trend for the weekend ahead as the high pressure pressure finally moves out. But 106 and 103, yeah, not much better. Up into the mountains, Tatchby and Fraser Park, upper 90s today and tomorrow. Tatchby, I think you hit 100 on Thursday. At least you cool down overnight in the current River Valley, plenty of 100s for you through at least the weekend.